I don't know a ton about men's fragrances, except for like the old classics like Dracar Noir or Old English or Polo, things that I've, uh, you know, smelled in real life. But there's a whole bunch of people that are really into these classic scents and these, you know, shaving scents and things. And Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements uh, picked up where another company, I believe an Italian company, left off. Uh, there was obviously a very popular uh, shaving scent, aftershave, maybe uh, shaving soap, called Floyd Black. Now, I know I'm the last one to the party here and everybody's already done reviews of this, but I don't know anything about Floyd Black. I don't know what it smelled like. Uh, I've never heard of it before. But Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements came out with this Droid Black, their tribute to the now, uh, I guess, well, not out of print, I was going to say out of print, no longer manufactured Floyd Black. So let's try this out today. I haven't tried this. I did put this on before my shower to make sure I liked it. And I'll let you know if I liked it or not, or if I'm going to have to find a different aftershave. Among Us, sus. Yeah, I've got kids. All right, and uh, we're going to shave today with old Grandpa Grungy, but we're going to do something a little different. Normally, I shave with him on a seven. Always have, probably always will. But today... Oh, by the way, this is 1960, fat boy, vintage, just like me. It's 10 years older than me, but I'm going to put it on one today. It's adjustable. You know that, right? You know that. Yeah, I don't need to tell you that. I'm going to put it on one. It's the mildest setting. I've never tried to shave with it on one. I think I've shaved with it on nine. It's always five to seven for me. So I probably won't like the way it shaves on one, but I figured, what the heck, let's try it out. Brand new feather blade. I'm going to temper it in the sunlight. See the sun's rays coming in? I know, I know. That's what you pay for when you, when, you, when you watch my channel, right? It's the special effects. All right, let's cinch that sucker down. It's that last little twist lets you know that it's a fat boy. All right, I took a shower, I did my hair. I'm going to put some hot water in my face. I'm going to lather up with this old vintage brush of mine that was uh, sent to me. It's a new knot vintage handle. I love this thing. But because it's a natural bristle, I tend not to use it. Uh, so if you're out there, the fellow that sent it to me years ago now, uh, if you'd be willing to for me to send it back to you to put a synthetic knot in it and send it to me, maybe? Anyway, we're going to try that again today. I always have a little bit of trouble lathering with natural bristles. I'm man enough to admit it. <laughs> All right, let's try the droid black. I think, did I use this? Yes, I used it once. Uh like maybe a week or two ago, so I don't really remember what it was like, but it smells very good. Now, from what I understand, here, I'm just gonna lather as I talk, so it's not too boring. Too much water, too much water, water. Um, from what I understand, the Floyd Black itself is a tribute to the cologne called Creed Aventus. Now, if you're like me, you hadn't heard about, you know, that sort of thing until recently, and I actually bought some. Creed Aventus. I bought a tiny, tiny little sample. You can get this, you can find these on eBay if you're ever interested in a man's cologne that maybe costs like $400 for, you know, a jar of it or, uh, you know, a bottle of it. You can buy little, uh, tiny, teeny, tiny little squirt bottles. And that's what I did. And man, I liked it. It was kind of like, people always describe it as pineapple, like a burnt grilled pineapple and some other scents. And it was very good. Now this has a little bit of that scent. I, I did enjoy uh, the Creed Aventus. And this stuff does remind me of it, but it's a, it's a milder scent and I like that. I like it when it's not like hitting you in the face, you know? When it's sitting on your face, it's not hitting on your face. I'm not a sloganeer. <laughs> All right. Hey, that, I did pretty good that time. If, if I just get enough soap into those natural bristle brushes, that was always my problem. I was getting too skimpy. So now I just dig right in. So if you have that problem like I did, that might be it. All right. Grandpa Grungy on one. See how mild it does? See how uh, see what a good job it is? I can still feel the blade. It's not too bad. I thought it was going to be more mild than this. But it is a brand new feather blade. Brand new sharp. One of the sharpest ones on the market. Now I know you guys are fans of Mantic 59 like I am. He was one of he's one of the original old school YouTube shavers that you can learn a lot from. Go check out his channel. Anyway, he's got a 10-year anniversary coming up. I've been doing this for 10 years too, but uh 
He has really put a lot of work into his channel and he's got a website called thesharppologist.com. And the slogan is, it's what your father didn't teach you about shaving. So go check out sharpologist.com or just check out Mantic59 on YouTube. M-A-N-T-I-C, number five and the number nine. You'll see, you know who I'm talking about. Even if you don't know his name, if you search Safety Razor on YouTube, Mantic 59 will pop up. Anyway, I had the pleasure of sending him a little uh, uh, congratulatory uh, video that he's going to use on his channel coming up. And he reached out to a bunch of other YouTube shavers, so that should be kind of fun to see what everybody else sent in. Good guy, Mark. I think he lives in Texas, too. I think he lives in North Texas, like Dallas-Fort Worth area. And if you do, Mark, if you're out there, you know, I don't even know. I should have asked you in the email. My dad lives up in that area. So maybe there could be a little hangout sometime in the next year or so. All right. Okay, so there's the first pass with a one. I've never done the one with Grandpa. That's how it, I've never done the one with Grandpa. I've never done anything with Grandpa. What are you talking about? All right, here we go. Still, yeah, still lots of, uh, you know, whiskers left. Now, this is totally presentable. I could go to work right now if I wanted to. But I don't want to. I want to get real. As clean as I can get. As as smooth as I can get. Here we go. Round two. With the droid black. Yes. These are the droids you're looking for. I am a stormtrooper after all. So I finally found it. I found the droids. I can retire. To my home planet. Of Endor. I was going to retire. To Alderaan, and we all know what happened there. I didn't agree with my bosses over that thing. It was a nice place. You should have been. I had a weekend home there. Oh my gosh. Alderaan, gorgeous. R.I.P. All right, here we go. This is a very slick, you know, everything from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements that I've tried has been good. And somebody uh, uh, mentioned in the comments that, uh, you know, whenever I use the, the Cella Cool, from PAA, I'll call it PAA from now now on for the rest of this video for Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Uh, and it burns me so bad that Chella Cool, uh, he said it's probably the almond oil in it. So, yeah, there you go. Maybe so, maybe, maybe that's what gives me that painful tingle. <laughs> when you feel the painful tingle, you know it's working. I got a little, little brush hair on there. Shedding, natural bristle brushes can shed fairly regularly until they're broken in, and even sometimes after they're broken in. Because then sometimes the knots start to fall apart. Luckily I haven't had that happen to me yet, yet. I can tell this is very, very mild, but I'm also hoping that I won't get cut because I get nicked every time I shave with Grandpa Grungy. Always have. It's probably because I shave it on a seven. You know, that's a bit much. Who am I trying to impress with that? Nobody. <laughs> Just my preference. I understand that uh, prices for the fat boys are going up on eBay. They go up and down, you know. I haven't been in the market for one in a while, so I haven't been keeping track. But, uh, you know, don't give up. If you really want to try one of these, don't give up. All right, there's the second pass. Oh yeah, there's still lots of, uh, normally by this pass, all this would be pretty much gone, but it's still there because I've got it on the mildest setting. So I'm just gonna go with one more and see what we end up with. I'm not gonna be as smooth as I normally am. Don't tell anybody, okay? The other day I was, uh, was shaving and the wife was downstairs Came out of the bathroom, fully dressed and everything, fully shaved. And I said, uh, do you wanna, I don't know if I said hug or kiss, you wanna hug the the the, the, sm the fr most freshly shaven, shaven man in town? So she came up, gave me a kiss and gave me a hug. She's like, you missed a spot. I was like, oh, dang it. <sighs> Keep me honest. Keep me honest. <laughs> Don't want to get my shaving ego too inflated. That's kind of the role of your uh, significant other. 
kind of make sure you don't get too big in the britches. <laughs> Do big for your britches. <laughs> Whew. Mm. Yeah, I've been working on being too big in my britches by uh, by doing this fasting diet, which still is working. I'm still I'm, I'm able to wear some some shorts and some jeans that I haven't put on in years that I forgot about. So, if you were wondering, I'm still sticking with that. Intermittent fasting is working for me, and uh, it hasn't been too hard. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it for everybody because you do sometimes get hungry and lightheaded in the morning when you haven't eaten for 16 hours. But it's not been too bad. Plus my body had plenty of fat storage to uh, feed off of, so, <laughs> which is part of the, why I did this. Uh, I'm okay with having a dad bod. I just don't want to be, you know, like two dads in one. You know what I mean? Of course I still could eat healthier. I need to eat more vegetables, more green beans and broccoli and all that good stuff. All right. I'm kind of, ooh. I like actually feeling, I can feel the more the metal, like the guard with less blade showing. I kind of like that. Feels kind of smooth and nice. It's almost like a little, a tiny little 60 year old <laughs> massager on my face. That's what? <laughs> I just call this a tiny little 60-year-old massager for my... I mean, sometimes. You try filming yourself shaving sometimes. See what comes out of your mouth. <laughs> when 700 years old you reach, look as good you will not. Man, I'm just full of Star Wars references these days, but I'm a huge Star Wars nerd, so... And these are the droids we're looking for. Sus. That's not really Among Us, it just looks like it to me. It probably is supposed to be a spaceman. Because Douglas Smythe is uh, into that old, you know, his artwork is like that kind of cool stuff. Look at that guy. Ooh, it's like a mirror within a mirror within a mirror within a mirror. That's cool. All right, so there we go. We're done shaving and there's still, yeah, there's still whiskers that I don't like. And here, and here. But because I did it on one, I'm just going to leave it as it is. One and done. There you go, Grandpa Grungy. I'm going to loosen him up. Do this if you have one of these vintage ones. Loosen the, the little barn door, whatever you call these things on top, the little doors. And then adjust it. Put you back on seven. Lucky seven. I'm not going to use this later, so I take this out and I let it dry. I leave this open on the counter. Let it dry. Speaking of dry, I'm going to dry my face. And then put on some droid black aftershave, which I did put on before my shower, as I recommend you do to test out a scent. Because if you don't like it, it's gonna be sticking with you all day. But I did, I really like this one, it smells good. It doesn't smell exactly like uh, Creed Aventus, which is what Floyd was supposed to smell like, which is what Droid is supposed to. We're, we're through the looking glass here, folks. I'm, I'm like three times deep into this thing. All right, I do love their little bottles. Phoenix Artisan and Accoutrements always has this little square bottle it's like so super old school and cool and there's that artwork again now i didn't put this on um after i had shaved i put it on before i shaved like i said before the before the shower so if it burns i hope it's not the uh, almond oil type burn <laughs> oh that smells good and no no burn i mean just a slight you know alcohol burn but I like this stuff, Droid Black. Now, if you've never heard of any of these things, Creed Aventus, Floyd Black, Droid Black, and you're just looking to buy like a nice, clean, good smelling shaving soap and aftershave, you can't go wrong with this. It's got kind of a, it's got a sweetness to it. It's got like a brown sugar vanilla to it. Um, uh, it's described as having a little bit of citrus, a little bit of floral. I'm not getting that so much, but it's it smells great. I like the smell of this stuff. So I'm gonna leave that out here. Whew, yeah, smells good. So thanks again to Douglas and everybody over there at uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for sending me these uh, two different shaving soaps, the Fresco and the Droid Black and the Aftershaves. I really appreciate it because otherwise I wouldn't get to you know, try these things out. I mean, I could, but you know what I mean. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me. Have a great weekend. Leave a comment down below. I read every single one of them. 
Sometimes alone at night as I weep in my bed, I'm just scrolling and going, you guys are so nice. Thank you. I don't do that. All right, everybody. See you later.